What is up, guys? This is Cope, and we're back. Finally, after two weeks of sickness, and uh, we're gaming through something at me in uh, about three days that I didn't realize was coming. So uh, this is the video you're getting on it. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I used a lot of uh, stuff to get this, unfortunately. And, uh, I don't really like it, unfortunately, also. Um, also, on top of that, this is not the, um, the equipment loadout that I would recommend to use on this tank. I was just throwing equipment that I had laying around that would work somewhat on it. I would, uh, definitely probably take off the hardening or turbo for either an aiming unit or a vertical stabilizer um, those are completely your choice it's mobility versus hit points and that's about it and I guess track repair speed but let's get into it and play some games in the 2 or the 780 because uh, not really uh, not really a big fan of the tank just really unfortunate But it is what it is, so. Matched up against a mouse, which is outstanding for our first game on this. Uh, it really plays like a, a really weird combination um, of the Chieftain and the 277, in my opinion. Um, it is slightly... Or they have the, the Chieftain and this have the same speed. Uh, this has less gun depression. And what is this char doing? <sighs> Go fuck yourself. Um, why does everybody not know how to drive right now? This is garbage. <coughs> So anyway, this this sync is like a, a weird hybrid between the two seven seven and the uh, chieftain, in my opinion. Uh, I, I don't really care for it. I'm about to get derped by a T forty nine here. Okay. I guess I wasn't paying attention to my reticule. I'm just gonna die immediately. Outstanding. I have to play the mid because I can't go all the way. Turn the. Fucking turret, Jesus. Uh, the shell velocity is better on the stick with the premium rounds than the cheap one, uh, but it does not have better standard rounds than the cheap one. So there is that. Um, the armor is just flat up worse than the Chieftain, and of course I'm getting already because I'm playing the new tank. Oh look, they released a new tank. I gotta go shoot it in my artillery. Blah, 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 blah. Can't really do anything in this game. Which is Mouse coming right now. Uh, so a lot of people have been saying how much better the gun is on this tank than the Chieftain, which is flat up not true. They literally have the same gun characteristics, with the exception of two tenths of a second aim time. And if two tenths of a second make the gun massively better, then uh, I don't really know how to play this game. Um, well, we already knew that, but what I can do is put a shell into the mouse for our first damage of the game, because uh, Unfortunately, I can't stay up here. 
but fortunately, RS32, and our Jaeger is going to push up that side, which means I can uh, not do anything still because they just have better positioning on my corner. But what I can do is. out as fast as possible, if at all possible. Another very bad thing about this tank is the premium uh, penetration is only 310 millimeters, which is not particularly good. This is getting blacklisted right now. This tank is bad. <sighs> I hate it so much. This is such a bad tank. I think the 277 is just flat up better than this tank is. In almost every aspect. And now I'm completely caught out in the open because I've bounced two shells and I haven't. I don't have the ability to get out of here. That's you putting on. Because I'm constantly stunned by this fucking RD. I can't pin that shot for some reason. And I'm just going to die. Yes, yes, yes. What a great tank. This is such a good tank. Everybody loves this tank, right? Alright, I'll see you in the next battle. And here we go back in queue for another one. This tank's just bad. There's no way around it. There's still a ton in the matchmaker for some reason also, which is really annoying. The only good thing about this tank is the armor, to be entirely honest. Um, the gun's just not that good. But hey, uh, they have numbers. So that's cool. Mine's uh, 68, 64. Yeah, woo, awesome. But boy, am I not a fan of this fucking thing whatsoever. Do I think it gets better with the field mods? Slightly. Do I have those field mods? No, no, I do not. Because I don't have that much free XP. So I guess, like, I don't know, if you bought it for free XP, yeah, I could see you really enjoying this tank, but for anybody who didn't spend 800,000 free XP on this tank and actually spent any other resource in this game, this tank is absolutely not worth it whatsoever. If you, fit, if you spend free XP on this, it's literally a free tank. Like, you don't have to worry about it. my point is being proven by uh, how many shells I've put in in this game already. Um, yep, there we go. Yeah, this is a great tank. This gun is so much better than a Chieftain gun, that's not even funny. Uh, these are all of the things that I have heard about this tank, but these are just flat out lies. So, yeah, there's that. Okay. Yeah, he pen my control. Oh, yeah, there's three of those, by the way. Oh, one of them's not really in um, little shot. But, uh, yeah, it literally just auto pens every single time. So, unless I do it, to one of these. And then, yeah. Also, it gets set on fire constantly, so there's that. This tank is just bad. Stop trying to defend this vehicle. If you defend this vehicle, stop. It's not good. It's never going to be meta. Don't try and make it meta. It's just a bad achievement. 
Yeah, of course I don't have gun depression there because I only have seven degrees because this is just a bad chieftain. Granted, I am on another map that I can't even move around on. To play effectively on this map, you have to play the mid, and they have overloaded the fuck out of it, so. He's coming to kill me. Yes, he is. And I am done playing this tank because I never want to play it again. I really would rather just sell it and get uh, 400 and, or 4 million credits. So, yeah. This tank is bad. That is my review of this tank. And uh, I'm going to leave the, uh, you guys to comment how bad my, uh, my gameplay is. And it's not just the tank that's absolutely garbage. It's a slow 277 or it's a bad chieftain. There's no in-between. And those are two tanks you don't want to be compared to negatively. So, yeah. It's more accurate than a 277. It has that going for it. Now, uh, do will I like it anymore when I actually put the uh, the setup that I want on it? Probably not. By the way, the DPM is not good either. It's not particularly bad. This is a... Uh, This is a below average tank, in my opinion. I don't think it's the worst tank in the game. I'm not saying it's the worst tank in the game. It's not overpowered. It's not good. Stop trying to make it good. I keep hearing, or I kept hearing people in the first week of this tank's being released. Or I guess this is still technically the first week. But uh, I keep hearing people just go on and on about how great this tank is and how much better the gun is than the Chieftain, and I'm just like, you just don't look at stats, do you? You can literally put the exact same build on the, each tank, and uh, they have the exact same accuracy. It just has slightly better shell velocity than the Chieftain. But you also can't use the, the gun as much because it only has 7 degrees of gun depression versus the Chieftain's 12 degrees. That's a 5! Difference. There's a difference of five degrees of gun depression. You know what tanks have five degrees of gun depression? The one two one. The T sixty two A. So you have a whole tank's difference in gun depression. So yeah, no. I don't no. Stop trying to defend this tank. It it, it it's a good idea. The the event is a good idea for them to get money out of their players. To be entirely honest. Like if you just bought this tank for gold, it was two hundred and fifty dollars. This tank is not worth two hundred and fifty dollars. Let me give you a little insight into World of Tanks real quick. So in World of Tanks there are certain websites that you can go to to um, have people grind missions for you in particular the 2790 and the 260 right for 250 dollars on one of these websites you can get two tier 10 tanks the 260 and the 2790 yeah do i think this tank is better than either one of those no not even close. Well, I've never played the 260, but I have played a 2790, and, uh, no. I don't think that it's better than either one of those tanks. I honestly just believe that this is just a bad tank that, uh, everybody's just defending in their own minds because they spent so many resources on it, whether that be free experience, bonds, gold, um, and blueprints, stuff like that. Now, the blueprints was a good idea. I like the fact that it allowed you to build it for blueprints. I would like to see them, um, I don't know, not cap it at 33%. 
because some people have way too many blueprints and they have nothing that they can use those for. So, I mean... Now, obviously, they can't make one of these tanks overpowered. Um, you're just giving an overpowered tank to players who are already getting, like, fully strapped with every single overpowered tank in the game. So you can't just give them another overpowered tank because they have overpowered tanks, right? So there's a fine line. And uh, yeah, I don't think this tank is actually worth doing anything for special. It's not going to be used in clan wars. In very rare cases would it be used in clan wars, like actually for an actual competitive advantage. Um, if you're memeing uh, a lineup together, you're probably going to have a full team of these and SP2s. But, um, of my four reward vehicles that I have at tier 10, right? So, it's the 280, or the 780, sorry, the Chieftain, the Qlin, or the Qlin, and the 114 SP2. Uh, this is the worst of all three of them. Solidly the worst. I would rather play the Chilin because it has better DPM. It has 40 less alpha damage, but it has far superior DPM. It doesn't get set on fire constantly. The armor is actually really good on the Chilin, which is crazy because like that's like the whole selling point of this tank is the armor. And if you're going up against tier tens, you're not going to bounce shit in this, but you can bounce shit in this. So. Uh, the Chilin is also lower profile, so it makes the 7 degrees of counterpression work even better than it does on this tall-ass tank. And by the way, the gun sits way too far back on this tank for the gun depression to actually work properly. And, uh, yeah. It's also slightly slanted back. So, your 7 degrees of counterpression just works so much better on this tank with the front-mounted turret. And, uh... Arguably easier to use better armor like this has a bunch of auto rickshaw angles that you have to figure out and Like constantly be thinking about how you're gonna bounce your next shot this you side scrape and and you don't give up your whole like oh That's also got a front mounted turret so you can also reverse side scrape in the Chilin. so Of uh, of all the reward vehicles that I have this is the worst out of all of them um, even if I had this set up for anything else, it's, it's still not, it's just, I don't know, I don't like it. Five rounds of mint's not very good at tier 10, even if you have 530 alpha. I mean, I'm pretty sure the IS-7 has similar DPM. It would with vents, okay. Yeah, it has the same rate of fire as an IS-7 with a speed build, so, yikes. But, uh, it doesn't even come close to, uh, 277, so. I still think the 277's even better than a 2, because, uh, the 277's outer rickshaw angles are just better, honestly. They're not flat plates. You get above it, boom, shoot it down in the upper hall, you get below it, boom, pin, easy. Oh. Also, uh, you're facing it straight on, and you're like, oh my god, I don't know where to pin it. And it's like somehow hiding its really raised up lower plate. Oh, wait. <laughs> it has two cupolas on top that are super easy to hit and pin. Yeah, no. This is, uh, this tank isn't as good as you think it is, and it's really not worth your time, money, or effort to get. Unless you just have 800,000 free XP laying around. And uh, maybe some blueprints, right? Uh, then it is worth it. Because it, chances are if you have that much free XP and you have that many blueprints, you have every tank thing. Or every tech tree tank in the game. Which means uh, you're probably ready for the next three tech trees that come out and you're going to get them all with free XP in the first day, so, yeah. 
And uh, if you just have those things at your disposal, this is a great tank for you, honestly. Um, and you can play around with it more than I want to. But I don't want to, because I don't like this tank. I really, really don't like this tank. And uh, those games were uh, not really outliers either. In 22 battles, I only averaged 2100 damage in this tank, and uh, that's not very good. So, yeah, let's compare that to uh, Chieftain, right? 27. Let's compare that to the Super Conqueror, 2400, which is a much slower tank. Let's compare that to the 277, 21, or 2200. So it's 100 off the 277. Granted, that's in 165 battles. Versus 22, so uh, this should probably be higher. Uh, the IS-7 is about the same, and uh, the IS-4, I even do better in the IS-4. I do better in the SD-2. I do better in the 705A. I think my point's been made, but I'm just really making sure that it's hitting home. Um, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, the, the tank that it mostly competes with is a VV-55 as a Chieftain, like, uh, knockoff, like, uh, the hybrid between the Chieftain and the 277, right? And uh, the, the Z-55 is so much better than this tank that it's not even funny, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it. Um, I'm done with this rant, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll say bye-bye now, I guess.